So if you guys have seen my titles, thumbnails, and descriptions, you probably know that I'm pretty terrible at spelling. Now, I could go and actually, you know, properly address it, learn how to spell words properly, but that's way too much effort. What I'd much rather do is use a program to fix it. And today we're looking at something to do exactly that. This is Digimean, which is such a simple application, it makes it very, very easy to integrate it with something like, say, Dmenu, and I'll show you how to do this a bit later in the video, but the main way you use this is inside of your terminal. Now, Digimean is obviously a very long name, and writing that out every single time you wanted to use it would be kind of cumbersome. But the dev is fully aware of this, so the actual binary is just called DYM. So to use it, all we do is pass a word into it. Let's say, for example, I don't know the spelling of electronic, for example. Let's say I forget there's an R in it. So when we do that, it's going to give us a couple of suggestions. By default, it is going to be five. And we can modify the number of suggestions with the dash N option. Now, Obviously, the more suggestions you have, the further away from the results you're looking for, the answer is going to be. So at 10, for example, you're still going to see things that are relatively similar. But if we go up to, like, say, 100, or we go up to 1,000, a lot of these words have literally nothing to do with the original word. And from my testing, there doesn't seem to be a limit on the number of suggestions. I believe it's basically whatever the size of the dictionary is, which isn't a number you would ever want to be using. Now, all of that's cool and all, but it still has a bit of a problem. I still have to go and copy and paste it out of my terminal, and that's not really that convenient, especially if you're using a bit of an older terminal that doesn't have proper mouse support or any way to copy any text that is visible on the screen. So what we can do instead is pass in the dash Y option, and this is going to bring up a basic TUI selector. So we can scroll through this with the up and the down keys, or by using J and K, whichever one you prefer and if I go and select something let's say we select electric that is then going to copy it into my clipboard I can then go and paste that basically anywhere I want to now I haven't tested every single version of this application I've only tested it on Linux but there is also a Mac OS and Windows version and from my understanding, the clipboard functionality should work there as well. I'm testing this on Xorg right now, but it will work with the Wayland clipboard as well. And that takes us back to the functionality I showed off a few minutes ago. So when you run the application by default, the output you get, it's fine for human readability, but it's got all of this extra stuff that we don't really need to see. So if we pass in the dash C option, this is going to give us a clean output. This is an output that is great for being parsed by applications like Dmenu, Rofi, or anything like that. So I can go and do something like pass this into Dmenu, for example, and now I get a selector inside of that application. But that's way less convenient, way more characters, and nobody really wants to write that. What you could do instead is spend maybe 30 seconds or a minute writing a very basic shell script and be left with something like, say, this, where it opens up one prompt. I can say I don't know the word uh, electronic. We'll use that one again. Then it's going to bring up another prompt. I can say this is the correct spelling right here, and then it's going to copy that in my clipboard, and I can paste it wherever I want. And when I said I spent about a minute on it, I meant what I said, because this right here, this is the entire script. Basically, we are running one D menu prompt and then saving that word into a variable. Then we are taking that word I've used, sticking it into another DYM command, passing that into D menu, and then basically sending out the result to xclip to save it in my clipboard. I'll leave it linked in the description down below if you want to use it for yourself. This is very basic and it probably has lots of edge cases where it doesn't work, but it does the job. But that's not all that DYM can do. If you still want to have the formatted output where it's got the digime and all the numbers there, but you don't want to have any color, I don't know why you don't want it, but you want to just strip out the color for one reason or another. What you can do is pass in the dash dash no dash color option, and all of that is going to be disabled. Now, if you've tried this application out for a bunch of different words, sometimes you're going to notice the results seem a little bit weird and not the way that you would sort of intuitively think a dictionary app would show you stuff. For example, if you use a really short word like, say, tree spelled incorrectly, the results don't have tree there at all. But for longer words, it generally is going to work, you know, pretty fine. Let's say I spell America wrong, for example. Like, that is going to show 
results that generally make sense. So if we pass in the dash V option, this is going to show us the edit distance. For all of these words, it is one, except this final one that is two. If we go up to more words, let's go up to say 20 words, for example, we should start to see some more results in here. So yeah, all of these words are two, and then going further on, they're going to be three edit distance. Now this is using an algorithm known as Demerel Levinson. I probably butchered that really, really badly. I'll leave a video down in the description below, fully explaining how to implement and things like that. But in short, the way it works is when you want to turn one word into another. Let's say you want to turn the word tree into uh, trees, for example, there are three different actions you can take. You can replace a letter, you can delete a letter, and you can insert a letter. The edit distance is the number of actions it takes to turn that first word into the second word. So turning the word tree into trees, the way we would do that is by adding the letter S onto the end. And that also happens to be the shortest edit distance possible. But another way you could do it is by deleting every single letter one by one, so giving us four removes, and then adding in five new letters for T, R, E, E, and then S. That gives us an edit distance of nine. So Demerel Levenstein or Levenstein distance is basically an algorithm for calculating the shortest edit distance possible. This is why on short words, it basically falls apart. This isn't some machine learning AI powered solution that can interpret what this says and say, okay, you probably meant to say tree. Because we are going through this very basic mathematical structure, sometimes the results are going to be weird, but for the longer words and for words where you are sort of only just misspelling it, which is the way that most people are going to misspell a word, it does work really, really well. And it also works really, really well when you're trying to sanity check your spelling. Let's say you spell a word and you think, wait, that doesn't look like the correct spelling. Like something in your brain is telling you that it seems wrong. But in reality, it's actually right. And that word, because the edit distance is zero, is always going to be at the top. And because there is no AI machine learning nonsense, as long as the dictionary doesn't change between two installs, the results you get are going to be fully replicable. If I run this on my system and you run this on your system, the results that you get are going to be exactly the same. Currently, the in-app or user install documentation only exists inside of the dash H option, but there is a issue open on the GitHub for adding in some man pages, which it doesn't really need considering how many options are available, but it is always nice to keep with the standards. So like every good modern application, because apparently everybody on GitHub only knows one language now, it is written in Rust. And it's packaged on the AUR as a stable package just called Digimean. There is a dash git package and a dash bin package. It is also available on Homebrew for macOS and also the NixOS package manager, which is just called Nix, isn't it? Yeah, it's probably just called Nix. And for anywhere else, it is available through Cargo. And for the Windows version, I guess that's how you would install it. There are hundreds of other dictionary applications out there, all with their own little quirks. But this one keeps it particularly simple, making it very easy to integrate with things that I personally already use. Maybe that's not the way that you want to use your applications, in which case there's other things you can try out there. But for me, it does what I need it to do. So let me know your thoughts in the description down below. Is this something you would ever go and use yourself? Or maybe you already have something. Maybe you have something with a GUI and that's what you prefer to use instead. I would love to know. So if you like this video, maybe go and like the video. If you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe, down below, pay link in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over Tea. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robertson Plays. That's going to be it for me and I'm out.